if it is to be, it is up to me. See, see my dream, my dream, my dream. Be on my mind, be on my mind. Brother here is taking this way. The ocean over here, the mountains in the back, and then it's just sand on the left, like hella birds flying and all of that. But we on the way back to Cape Town International to the airport so I can get back to Joe Bird. Can I can I record you, brothers? Okay. Alright, uh, this is my brother from Ghana. I just met. He out here hustling, making that money, driving for Uber. He was telling me some crazy stories too about uber man almost every drive i meet is telling me it's a dangerous hustle out here man since they take cash and all of that they get robbed similar to the taxis in america you know it was very dangerous but you don't know with the people picking you up if it's a setup or if they after they get where they going they might run out the car and don't want to pay you and all of that so i wonder when they gonna change that i know right now it's it's probably easier for everybody to use cash, but it's much safer with credit. And like you all have to pay once you get to 300 uh, rand, you owe them or something like that. Yeah, when you owe them, then they, they block, they block your street. You know, when it's more than 300 rand. Yeah, so you can't drive once you owe them. And one of the brothers told me basically, if you owe them and they stop you, they restrict you. But it's on a weekend or a holiday. You got to wait until after that to pay them or whatever. No, they don't stop you. They will just uh, block your cash, cash trip. Or if you have money, you just deposit it to the account. Oh, so you can still take trips, but only like credit card. Credit card. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But most of the trips are cash, ain't they? It's, it's not most of them. Uh, it's sometimes it's... Uh, a mix. It's a mix. Even this morning, I've taken two uh, car trips, you know. Yeah. Car, car trips. I think this is the third time I've taken a, a, a cash trip. Ah, okay. So, All right, well, good. At least you know, you, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, you have to balance it, it the depends. Right, right, right. Well, that's good. At least you can still hustle, make some money until then. I thought it was like, you can't drive at all until you pay us, you know. But all right, man. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I'll let you real quick. It's been real interesting finding out the differences in doing living Uber and Uber and Volt here in South Africa, man. Like I say, it's a much hard, it's a hard hustle in America too. It ain't easy money sometimes, but it's much harder here with from the them restricting you once you get to that 300 Ram, them telling you you can only drive in certain areas. Like they not allowed to just drive anywhere they want to like we are. And they still beefing with the taxi drivers. Like, we was having issues with them too, like I told the brother a few years ago. But now they didn't got used to the fact that Uber and Lyft is a normal thing and they can't compete. But here, I've been hearing some of them say they even was killing some of the drivers, like fighting them. A guy told me just yesterday, I met in Durban. He was like, oh, bro, the, the taxi drivers robbed me. He was like, they took all my money, they took my car, I'm, I'm barefoot, I'm walking up the street now, like, that shit is crazy to me, man. So, they, I hope they do something about that soon, because they can't have a taxi gang banging against the Uber drivers, like, that's ridiculous. It's bad, you know, it's, it's like, it's very bad, of course. Yeah. Um, maybe they didn't do it to me, right? Yeah. But maybe some of my brothers from other countries who are also trying to survive come from here. Right. The first countries to look for better living in South Africa. Yeah, true. A lot of them have been killed. As I speak to you, I was robbed recently. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I was robbed recently. Someone ordered and they put the guy and stuff and it's, it's, it's crazy, man. And, and I, I was telling the brother, I know somebody um in America who got robbed doing Uber where he they ordered the ride, he got there, they pulled a gun on him. And they tried to take his, they actually, they took his car. He ain't have much money on him because we don't take cash, but they stole his car, took his phone. So it happens there too, but it seems to be more frequent here because of the cash and stuff like that. So that's a shame, man. You know, people just trying to make their money, but I see it's difficult. Even my buddy Lindo, he drives a Bajaj and they stopped him. The police stopped us on the um, highway and took his, they ripped his stickers off the window. What? 
she said he was not allowed to drive on the highway. I guess with his car or something, because it can only go, I think, 75 kilometers. 75 kilometers. Yeah, so she was like, oh, it's dangerous. You're not even supposed to be on this road. And she took his stickers. He had to go get that fixed the next day. It was just a lot. So I see you all go through a lot, man. It's tough, bro. Yeah, for real. As we, we, I'm from West Africa, bro, uh, precisely Ghana. Yeah, what part of Ghana are you from? I was born in, I was born in Brazil in Accra. But okay. originally I'm from Kumasi. Kumasi? Kumasi, yeah. Uh, that's where I'm from. You know, it's, they travel all the way from Ghana to South Africa to make ends living. Yeah. A whole lot of my brothers have, have been killed. Mm. Here? Yeah, in South Africa, yeah. Damn. Some of them is their fault, others. It's not their fault. Some of them are sickness and stuff. Like that. Right, right. I'm not saying South Africa is a bad country, no. It's not. Every place is, has bad people and crime. In this world, even in Ghana, there is crime all over the place. Even in America, it's all over the it's place. It's normal. Yeah. It's something that is normal. But I'll urge all my brothers to be very skeptical and very careful whatever they are doing. Exactly. Especially if you're a Ghanaian. Not only Ghanaians as a whole, as Africans. Yes, sir. That we are. Even in America, I know there are a lot of Ghanaians. Yeah. African diaspora there. Mm -hmm. What I would tell them is, you know, hustle hard. Yes. Because you come from far. Yes, sir. Amer African Americans, we are all one, you know. Yeah, facts. We are all one. There is racist going on in the whole world, but we believe that. Yeah, it is true. I can tell you from experience, bro. It's yeah. definitely going on over there. I've, I've experienced this thing even when I went to when I went to Russia. Oh, yeah. I've traveled to Russia before. Okay. And um, what kind of racism did you experience in Russia? It wasn't that big though because we went on a um, uh, on a, on a Putin's work up, you know, the civil work up, you know. So I didn't experience it that much. I was a journalist back then. Okay. So I wouldn't say it was bad, but that is where I felt like this is racism. Ah, give me, give me an example. Like what? Because I'm gonna tell my example of the racism I experienced here in South Africa. They, 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 they throw a banana on me. You know, right? What? They threw a banana on you. Yeah. These because, because I'm, I'm a black guy. My skin is black. I'm right. a black person. I saw that they do that like at the football games a lot in Europe. They throw bananas at the brothers on the field, which is crazy because you here rooting for these people. The only reason your country is even famous and successful in football is because of the black people, because of the Africans. But then you're going to disrespect them and throw bananas. Like, white people kill me with shit like that. Hey, hold on two seconds, Ali. I'm shooting this video with my brother. He from uh, Ghana, too. You out there right now, right? Yeah, I am. Turn the light on or something. I can't even see you. I'm, I'm looking for it. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to put you on the camera, too, man, because I was recording my brother. He takes me back to the airport. We was talking about, like, our experiences out here. But I will say real fast while we waiting on her. Uh, going to Simon's Town, in particular in Cape Town, I had the Indian guys follow me around the store, just harassing me, man. In the US. Now she in Ghana right now. So uh, I dealt with that. I had to deal with the police raiding us in Johannesburg, which I'm not gonna say that's racism necessarily. It was black cops, but it is a form of racism because they wasn't doing as in none of the white stores. They come to the black areas and raid their shops. And talk about oh we don't know what they're doing here and all of this, but they should be allowed to legally sell their merchandise and make their money, man. This place is called. Um, oh shit! Play. It's called what? Let you split. All right, look at your hair, man. You looking good? <laughs> Thank you. Y'all take a look. I told you one of these days I'm gonna go have my hair done when I answer this. I problem. know, right? It only took you going to Ghana to do it. Look at that. I don't know how well y'all can see it. Hopefully y'all can see. She laced up. Right, there you go. She laced up with the fresh braids. This this one of the sisters, my good friend, Ali, talented singer from Chicago, but she out in Cali at the moment. But she's in Ghana for a wedding. And you say you're gonna sing in the wedding, right? Yeah. Alright, so she's gonna go. Where, 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 the the brother asked you, where are you in Ghana right now? 
What in Ghana are you right now? I'm in a, I'm in a crowd. I'm, um, I'm like... Where in a crowd? I forgot the name of the street, but I'm like, I'm like 15 minutes away from East Lego. From East Lego, right? Okay, which means Spring Text. Spring Text, right? Spring Text. Spring Text Road on that, uh, that side, right? Oh, I don't know what... Is one of the, the oh, okay. I hope you're gonna have a nice day in Ghana. Yes, um, I'm gonna be chilling today. The rest of the group is going to Cape Coast. Cape Coast, like, oh, really? Yeah, wow. they're going today, but I went to Cape Coast already. And yeah, like, it's the type of thing where it's just so heavy and it's so impactful. I don't need to do it every time I come here. Yes, you've been to Ghana. How many is your second or third time out there? Been there before. Are you Ghanaian or are you American? I don't, I, I, I'm not 100% sure. Just like I told him. I, I told him earlier. He asked me that. I'm like, we black American, bro. We don't know. We we a, a, we a mixture. We could be a little bit uh, Igbo, a little Fulani, a little Amaric. Yeah, we could be a little Bantu. We don't really know, brother. We just know we from here somewhere, you know. Right. Just like Allie, when she walk around, I'm sure until she speaks or something, they probably like, oh, she one of us. And I, I get the same thing so far. Uh, Tanzania, Ethiopia, even in South Africa, a bunch of people been like, oh, you, like, where you from here? And then when I speak, they like, oh, you not from here. I, I think it might be different when I go to West Africa for the first time because you know, yeah. it's more melanated chocolate brothers and sisters out there. But, so, so how is the hospitality like? How is the hospitality like in Ghana? How do I like it? What he said? He said, how is the hospitality? What is it like? Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, like, even at our hotel, it's stuff like, like, they cook for us every day. So, like, whatever we want. Like, red, red, snapper, like, they always have food. Whatever we want. Are you talking about dinner? For us every day. Dinner. For I yeah, thought you meant like breakfast. Super sweet. Yeah. Everybody's super sweet and like um, welcoming. Like they don't have no food like that. Yeah, we were talking about that Tell me when, when we get there. Yeah, we are almost there. After right. after this, um, my this bridge. All right, I got you. Wait, where are you at? Where are you at? I'm, I'm, in, I'm finishing my little stay in Cape Town. I'm on my way to the airport now to go back to Johannesburg, man. Oh. And ironically, you know, before I came, I kept getting all the warnings. I'll put it down. I kept getting all the warnings about, uh, like. You see, after this traffic lights. I got you. I see why he said that, because now we in the um, the townships. Yeah, townships. So this it's is like... Philippe. It's called Philippe. And they see you coming around, they see you, they see you with this thing. It's, it's an apartment. Yeah, I know. It's a, you're a target, man. They see you some money. They see you are a But, uh... What was I saying? What you, what you asked me? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm leaving. Uh, this was my last... I was only here for like two days. Just really to shoot the city and then really to get a shot of the penguins but uh i ain't really like it out here it was pretty much like they said on the internet when i looked it up man it was like my yep. most racist experiences was out here just like That's the crazy. just like the brother said some guy i saw on youtube he was like he was an african dude he was like yeah you know it's it's not unusual for you to uh be at the restaurant and you would be the only black person there and Every time I ate out there, that's what it was. The only that's other crazy. black folks was the ones working there. So it was like, at least I had them to talk to and crack jokes with and shit. But other than that, it's like, man, my 
my people is not out here. Like, y'all just out here to get money and then y'all leave after about six, seven o'clock. So, I didn't, I didn't really like it, man. Your door's locked, your window's up. So, what you, they ain't gonna, they gonna break the window to get them going? All right, I ain't gonna question you, man, but. <laughs> let me see, let me see outside. No, not yet. She, he don't want you to see outside. He, he's scared of, trust, I, he's scared I, of I, them I, seeing the phone. I don't trust this. I was robbed here. I was robbed here recently. Ah, uh, he said he was robbed over here. Uh, this is the area where they did what you said? Yeah. Oh, right damn, the moment, okay. Person. Yeah, man, that's the other thing I've been learning here, how much harder of a hustle Uber is out here, man, like. That's all I got on my phone is boat. He an Uber, but they order him at the um hotel. Yeah. I got boat on my phone too. Yeah. So that's what makes it more dangerous, first of all, because they take cash and credit. So they like, okay, the drivers might have money, money on them. That's so true, yeah. Then, you know, we allowed to go anywhere uh doing Uber in America. They got specific areas that they supposed to work in and if they get caught doing rides outside the area sometimes one brother i met said he got robbed they took all the money he made for that day because he picked up somebody in the wrong location like it's, it's a lot of issues man so it, it makes it much more difficult to get money doing the uh, taxi driving out. and then they beefing with their taxi drivers out here too like they be fighting so the brother got robbed right here at the shop right so he dropped somebody off and then when he got another pickup at the same place and that's when they came and pulled the gun and all of that so you know like i say it's it's a weird thing for me brother because as much as you know you definitely want to be safe and careful i'm more accustomed to being around black people and that's where i've had my best experiences here so far like soweto mabu name if you know tambisa uh, I've been to Tambisa before. I went to Ebony Park in Tambisa. I got warned about all three of those places. I'm like, don't go there. Like, you don't want to go there. And, nigga, I have the most fun there. Yeah, like, I met the realest people. Oh, really? Yeah. So, again, not to be naive and think, like, oh, it ain't no danger, but they say the same thing where I'm from. Like, me and her, we, we from Inglewood, and that's, like, notorious. Oh, really? It's like... What you just said about Felipe? You said Felipe? Felipe. Felipe. Yeah. I keep thinking the Mexican name, Felipe. <laughs> like Felipe, they be like, oh, don't go to Inglewood. Stay away from there. Da, da, da. And that's where a lot of my money is made doing Uber. Oh, really? oh. Yeah, man. Like, so it is, it, it can be dangerous there, but it's not like every second you risk getting robbed. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody there ain't out to get you. It's a lot of good people there, hard working, just regular obviously, people. Yeah, obviously, there can be, you know, because there's, right. it's not everywhere that you go that you're going to see people who are uh, bad. Yeah, they are good people yeah, around. Exactly. But the bad people mess it up for everybody yeah, else. So, you know the, 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 those bad people, they paint um, the name like, in a bad way. But maybe it's not supposed to be like that. Exactly. Yeah, so it's similar where I'm from, man. So that's why I say I, it's not like I be, take me to the danger, but it's like, nigga, the black folks is usually where they say it's dangerous, and that's usually where I have the most fun, though. Right? Exactly what you be saying. Take me to the danger. I mean, I guess so, technically, shit. Every way I like, they be like, this shit is dangerous over here. We're gonna go to another one, another township very soon. Okay. I'm very close to the airport. We're almost close to the airport. I think I saw that one when I flew in. It was like right next door to the airport, wasn't it? Come again? The township is like right next door to the airport, yeah, right? It's right next to the airport. I saw that. So how's the trip been for you so far? How, how many days you been there? It's been so much fun. Um, this is day three. Okay. Um, and like last night, well, I could do much last night because I got my hair done yesterday. Okay. But like they went on like the city tour and everything like that. But my, honestly, my some of my favorite parts of this trip be when we come back to the hotel and unwind. We just give me the most thought provoking conversation. Oh, yeah. We be kind of we be kind of fucked up, you know. We be drunk and high and stuff, but like we have such a good time and like it's the most bonding that happens on the trip. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um. So like last night, it's crazy. Cause we was talking about all this stuff and I was like, man, I wish Steve 
he can hear this or be a part of these conversations. We were talking about everything from like, you know, like investing over here collectively and like what that would look like and like how many years it would take to like operationalize something like that. We were talking about how like they a different breed of hustler over here. Like, you know, like and how they just born into it and it just, just, it just is what it is. Um, we were talking about the culture over here, like the hospitality, like the whole mentality is just different. We were talking about all of the fucking corruption, what Britain did over here, what France is still doing over right, here. Right. We were just talking about everything. We was up all night just getting fucked up. That's what's <laughs> up though, man. We were talking about black love and stuff, because like, you know, it's a lot of couples on this trip, like a lot of married people. But it's also a lot of parents who, like, you know, they're like, oh, the kids at home. Like, we came out here because the kids couldn't come. Trying to turn <laughs> up, right? Have some adult fun. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, like, uh, and then, like, you know, it's, like, different. Some people been married for, like, eight years. Some people been married for, like, six months. Like, okay. you know, just, like, um, the difference of, like, village that they prince. That's our friends who's getting married. Prince and Victoria have it's just like beautiful and like we were just just we was just talking about every fucking thing. We were just talking about every fucking thing. Hey, so you sound like your experience so far is like how I've been my experience in Johannesburg, basically. Cause yeah. I was building with some yeah. brothers too when I I told you how the police raided that store I was in, right? Yeah. So it was like that. That's the type of conversation we was having building before the police came. Even when they was in there, we still kept the conversation going. But you know, it was like, man, I love having these these type of talks with brothers out here. And that's yeah. kind of what I was telling him earlier. Was like, I've had similar talks, but sometimes. You know, just the fact that they speak English so fluently here, it's been much easier and, you know, yeah. okay, it's been a better understanding, you know. All right, yeah. we even made it to the airport. What time is it, bro? What time is it there? It's, he said nine what? Nine thirty-two. It's three. It's two hours, so. Nine thirty-two. It's nine thirty in the morning? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I don't have no problem. Seven, seven thirty-two. Yeah, it's oh, okay. here. Hopefully I don't have no problem getting on my flight, man, because it leave at like 11, 11.15 or some shit. 11. No, and 11. where are you going today? I'm going back to Joburg. Okay. And then I fly home tomorrow. Yeah. I got like one last night. Go oh. Kick it with my buddy, maybe, for her birthday. The one you saw when you called me, matter of fact, we was chilling by the pool. Oh, uh, was, yeah. was that your date? I mean, I wouldn't call it a date necessarily, you know. We was just I chilling. I feel very excited. What's your date? No, oh, I think we need to get to the summer. Yeah, we got to find an ATM. Yeah. I, like I said, I wouldn't call it a date. Uh, that was me and her first Did time kind of kicking it alone. Did you hear what I said? What you say? I said, I just hope you better be out there being safe with your motherfucking date. I'm always safe everywhere I go, man. Come on, now this this Inglewood. You think I'm gonna come out here and act a fool and not do what I do at the crib? I don't know. Um, what I was about to say. I was about to say something. Why you say it was a date? Just because it's a female? Anytime I chill with a female, it's a date. Oh, uh, nah, that was something else. That was a chick, uh, that was a, low-key, that was a black girl that I was talking about, that I met, uh, at one of the restaurants. Uh, yeah, uh, and she tried I to holler. That was her nah, nah, that's, that's somebody I met. Yeah, I, I wasn't really worried about that. It's for the win. I was putting it down for you, honestly, brother, to respect what you said, but... You know, this is what I'm supposed uh, to drop. This is what I'm supposed to, to drop. Yeah. This is what I'm supposed to drop. You, you have to. You need to come to Ghana. I do, but I was like, I was telling bro, I gotta get the yellow fever shot and all that, and I haven't. Oh yeah. 
That's why I haven't been to Nigeria yet, Ghana yet, because of the yellow fever shot. I've been going to the countries so I don't need a shot for. So I got to, um, when I got here, mm. I didn't have my yellow fever shot. Mm. So I had to go back to vaccination card. Okay. But I thought I didn't need it because I've been here before. Right. So in order to get in the first time, I'm like, well, y'all let me in the first time because I had all my shit. So right. like, and you only need a yellow fever once in the lifetime. Exactly. So I'm like, I don't need I would think they would keep a record of it or something. I'm like, that was from like three or four years ago. Like, I haven't been vaccinated since 2019. Like, it's been a while. So, I'm like, well, I don't have it. So, the girl, like, okay, well, let me go uh, see, uh, talk to my boss about it. I'm like, okay, cool. So, she come back with her boss. He like, you hear, you the one that's here for a wedding? I'm like, yeah. He like, and you don't got your vaccination card? I'm like, no. already been here. I've been here before. He gonna say, well, maybe if you buy her lunch, it may be bad me. Oh my so God, man. <laughs> they kill me with that. He's like, 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 yeah, it's Christmas time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if you do something nice for us, give us something nice. We might have just let you slide this morning. <laughs> hey. I'm like, this whole freaking I don't be knowing how to feel about that because half the time I'll be like, that's a damn shame. But then the other half, when it work in my favor, I'll be like, thank God you just took a couple dollars and let me go. Like, I love my people, okay? Like, but I, but we, I, one of my other friends, she was like, well, if you don't have your shit, but like, I'm not about to be on bullshit with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm going like, to help you out. Know, Oh, you park so far away from me. It's, this side is fine. Yeah, there's no parking this side. Oh, okay. All right, well, like you nah, you good. You need to go to the um, um, Cape Coast. You will love it. All right, I'm going to try to, man. Let me go and run to this ATM. I'm going to end the recording. Uh, I'm okay. glad I got to catch this little moment, man. We making a little connection from Ghana, South Africa, America, all of that. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's dope. Aquaba, 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 Aquaba. Medasi, Medasi. Medasi, Medasi. All right, I don't know none of what they saying right now, but I'm going to learn that too. You feel Aquaba me? Aquaba means welcome. 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 So if you say, we want to say thank you, say Medasi. Medasi. Okay, all I know is like Karibu, uh, welcome, Asante Sana. I know the language I have learned. I know Swahili, Amharic, and a little Zulu. I don't know any tweet yet, but I'm going to learn it when I make the trip, man. But I right, good seeing you, queen. I'm going to check in with you when I get to the airport or something. Uh, my brother, we're going to end it here. All right, I got you. I'm just going to take you up there. No, I know, I'm just saying the video, you know what I'm saying? So you can say goodbye to your people, everybody goodbye, in Ghana. Goodbye, 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 everybody in Ghana. Goodbye, everybody in America. Ghanaians, diaspora living in America. And to you, sweetheart, have a blessed and a fruitful holiday in Ghana, right? You said what? <laughs> I said have a blessed and a fruitful holiday in Ghana. Oh, thank you. You do the same. Okay, thanks so much. All right, later, girl. Bye. Bye. Pleasure to be with you with the user this morning. We both here for your safety as well as your comfort if there is any.
Shout out to Sim L. Just for making uh, everything easy. It's been the most relaxed flight I ever taken. I got on here with a giant bottle of water that ain't tripped and make me throw it away. And uh, I brought some herb both ways. <laughs> Everywhere I done went to Cape Town and then out there uh, to Durban and there was no issues. So I appreciate it though for that. Just finished flying back to uh, Joburg on Sim Air, man. It wasn't bad. They talk about it like it's Spirit Airlines in America, man. If you don't know Spirit, I never flown for it, but the way they talk about it is like the the bajaj of the sky, <laughs> like the tuck tuck in the air. You know what I'm saying? And for people in America, it's like the the mega bus of the sky. So it wasn't bad, man. I liked it. Uh, wasn't as cheap as I thought it would be, but it was comfortable and smooth. So. Glad I made it safe, ready to go home. Can I, is it okay if I record you? Yeah, you can record. I'm saying you. Yeah, no problem. Cause you so you, can you explain that again? My <laughs> my brother right here, I just met. His name is Garfield. He told me uh, I was about to walk maybe miles to catch a uh, boat, man, cause the Uber driver sent me off. But he just put me on game. Told me I can just take the train. It's cheaper. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna come out deep from the airport. Okay. So you almost paid. You almost paid millions, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I but appreciate you're good now. You're good now right? I appreciate yeah, you, Boosie. Yeah, yeah. You saved me some money and some time, and it's gonna, man. It's going to take you directly into Samson. So you okay. Yeah, you don't have to go walking around. That's perfect, man. Yeah, yeah. There's a brother I just met from Pretoria. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> when I, the first thing he said to me, he was like, hola. I'm like, oh, it's Spanish-speaking brother out here, man. I am. <laughs> it's South African Spanish, though. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, he just helped me, man. We I'll try to film the train, but it's my first time riding the train out here. Yeah, it's gonna come in like three minutes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh yeah, I just like showing them all the infrastructure and all of that, cause again, if they never saw it, they don't know. So they don't believe it. yeah, they might even believe it. It's just they need to see it sometimes, you know. Way to hit over. Exactly, and to motivate them to come out here, man. After three minutes. Okay, cool. I get it when it comes through. Yeah. Right there. And then you turn. Flip it around. Ah, so you crazy. can set it to where it stays level horizontally. Yeah. Oh, there's a I see it's coming. Yeah, yeah. And so when I'm walking, to be discreet, keep my hand down like this, hold a bag or something. People don't even oh, really notice. You don't even there. realize it's a camera. But it's pointing up and staying smooth. You know, it has a gimbal on it. Yeah. It look like a new train too, man. What is it called? The God train? Yeah, how train. Oh, how train. Yeah. I remember what they said about me. That I got the glitch. Oh, you gotta press the button to open the door. <laughs>
Yeah, I had to like completely change how I take vacations, bro, because I'm not the type to like record or yeah, take yeah. a lot of pictures or any of that. Yeah. And now it's like I have to, so it's become kind of a chore. I'm getting more and more used to it, but it's like it's not really my normal. It's not your thing. Not really, man. But you're doing it for a purpose, right? Exactly. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, ah, right, let me make sure I'm on point, filming everything I can. Cause normally I'm more like I like to just enjoy in person the vibe, you know what I mean? In the instead moment. Of, instead of always being Yeah, I really don't like camera not seeing actually. I really don't like that. Yeah. But like you say, it's for a purpose outside of myself, so but it's a pretty nice train, man. <laughs> Cleaner than some trains in America, I tell you that. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Much cleaner than the red line, man. That's one of the trains I gotta take. When I get home, I take the blue line and then the red line. The blue line has a bunch of heroin addicts on it. Mm -hmm. People on drugs. That's, that's the sweet way. What, next door? Yeah. <laughs> The, the train right next door? Yeah, so that's that's another railway. That's for... What you call it? The red line. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's the red line track right now. <laughs> so you're on the opposite side. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, so we in the, the nicer, the slightly bougier train. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but but now they, they actually managed to revamp it, so they actually clean it out, so it's also clean too. Oh, yeah? yeah? It's not like a long time ago, we used yeah. to have criminals and all of that. It's actually good. cleaner now and more efficient. Good, good. Yeah. But that's what they need to do on the red line and the blue line. Well, especially the red line, to be honest, man. That's yeah. when you get to my neighborhood and it's like... <laughs> it's dodgy. Everybody comes through there selling like cigarettes and, and weed and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and walking the through the aisle, yeah, yeah. through the cars. So this is the difference when I get on the red line train back closer to my, my area, man. Uh, you probably can't tell from the video, but it smells like weed. It smells like weed as soon as you get on the train, man. It's smoky as hell. Somebody was in here getting high a minute ago. But shit, I'm almost back at the crib now. Joe, I thought I was trying to hear that shit, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Once again, we all stand to wait for CPD to arrive to this scene of this train. We're not going anywhere until I get clearance to proceed. I didn't jump on bro, somebody on the train. Bro, we got to go to work, though, bro. You already at work. They just beat somebody ass on the train on the next car. Hell yeah, yeah, what you mean? You got a job to do. That's why we on the air, so we can get to our job. You got people's on here that got to get to work, though. That's crazy. Man, this man got to be the stupidest motherfucker. Like three in the world. stops from the crib, man. I can't even get home because they done beat somebody ass on the next car. Now we gotta wait for the police to get here and shit. Almost home, not yet, goddamn. Bro, they not even on the train no more, bro. I, I used to have this uh ex-girlfriend she was french and she came to visit me well she was there anyway to be an au pair yeah. and uh i remember when we rode the red line once she was so scared because a guy came through there he had like a gun in his pocket she could sit oh my god he has a gun <laughs> i'm like hey man as long as he's not bothering us like mind your business <laughs> let him keep going through here you know because even in here you can't eat oh uh, no nah. eat drink oh damn okay. no, they're gonna find you it's like 400 grand Damn, no wonder it's so clean in here then. Because they let you eat and drink and all of that on the, yeah, it's the ones be, in Chicago, yeah. man. So you see the security on every door. Ah, yeah. okay. Well, that's good. Maybe they need to do that where I'm from. Cause yeah. People get kind of reckless, man. They smoke on there sometimes. And all Imagine. Kinda, yeah. There's people with asthma. Yeah, they don't care, man. Because you got to keep in mind, too. Yeah. So you said the other one is the... Yeah, it went, it went on the it's, other It's side. significantly cheaper. Yeah. So that's the red line, the blue line. It's not very expensive in America. Mm -hmm. So you know half of the year in Chicago is like super cold. Mm -hmm. Half the year is like this. The weather's nice. Yeah. Other half is freezing. You can't really live outside. So what the homeless people do a lot of times, they will 
beg just to get enough money to ride the train and then they'll just ride it back and forth just all day it. all night sleep on it to stay warm that's crazy so yeah it, uh, i'm gonna probably get that on camera too i should get it on the way home i'm sure i'll see some people like that that is crazy but yeah that's some of the sides like i said i gotta show you all man because they don't show you in the media in the oh, news that is crazy. that's a normal thing in chicago bro Just past the township with all the shacks and all of that back there. And look how close it is to the nicer areas, man. Like, it reminds me of America like that. It's not a, a large gap between the rich and the poor a lot of times. Oh, no, ten. Hmm? 